Coates Stars, it's Mrs. Puckett, the reading specialist at Coates Elementary School. I'm so glad you could join me today. I want to talk to the parents of third graders today and the parents of children who are reading on a third grade level. Third grade is an important time in Virginia and probably across the country because this is the year SOLs begin. Typically, we like to say in kindergarten, first and second grade, children are learning to read. In third grade and up, they're reading to learn. That means that they will be reading things and having to get the information from that. So they're not just learning the phonics of how to read, they're learning how to get information out of the text that they read. So that'll be our big focus in third grade. Now I'd like to draw your attention to reading routines at home. If you'll look at the second page, it demonstrates what a typical third grader is reading at the beginning of third grade. This would be a level 28, also called a level M. These books can be fiction or nonfiction. They have multiple characters. The nonfiction has multiple sections. And after reading, a student will be asked to describe what happened in each section and what was most important. So they have to learn in third grade to sift between all the details into what are the important details. By the end of third grade, they're going to be reading even harder books, level 40. This is, could be a level P or Q. Now, if you want to find books on these levels, there's websites listed right on your pamphlet that are from the website Goodreads. And just type in the letter level, and it'll tell you where you can find some books. Now, we're going to take a moment now to watch Mrs. Gazoulis read with her third grade daughter. And then when she comes back, I'll talk about what you saw. All right, enjoy. This is a good team, a musical called Hamilton debuted in New York City. The show is based on a bio, Be Free. Bio. Does that sound right to you? No. No. Are there some chunks in that word that you already know? Well, I know bio. Okay. Maybe graph. Oh, biograph. Bio. Biography. Oh, I like how you kept reading that until it sounded right. With Alexander Hamilton that was written by Ron Turner. To now? Mm -hmm. Alexander Hamilton was not born in the United States, but he made the country his home. In some ways, we shaped our system of government in our country more than any of the other founding fathers. He arrived in the American colon colonies with nothing and became one of the most important men in American history, who will always be in his debt. So, Julia, what made you choose this book? Um, well, I've really wanted to see um, the musical Hamilton for a really long time, mm -hmm. and just reading this actually helps me understand his life, not just is part of certain government. Okay, so like his backstory yeah. a little bit. Why do you think the author wrote this book? Um, I think the author wrote this book because now that it's a musical, um, I think it will make the author a lot of money and it's actually really interesting to see not just his terms in government, but actually what it was like before. Like what he was like um, before his dad abandoned him and after. Okay. Um, are there any traits that you think Alexander Hamilton had that you think are good traits or bad traits that he had? Um, I think one of the good traits he has is um, always like once he has something he sticks to it, but I think he needs to make sure he puts family first. Um, when did he not put family first? Um, he went down to the summer state, he went down to the summer place and mm -hmm. um, there was this like, time and he couldn't stay, he had to go to work and um, Eliza his wife was like, no, stay, stay. But he said, no, John Adams spent some of his family. <laughs> so now you're quoting the musical. Was that part in this book too? Yeah. Oh, very cool. Um, so would you recommend this to someone else? Yes, I do. This Who do you think would want to read this book? Um, any rising third and fourth graders, maybe even fifth graders or second graders. Okay. Um, because I think it will be really interesting and it's really now, this is a biography, so it's a story about his life. Were there any new facts that you learned from reading it? Yeah, I learned that um, Alexander Hamilton took care of George Washington. Okay, when did he take care of George Washington? He took care of George Washington um, when George Washington was like, getting older and um, well, he was serving in his term as president. Okay, thank you for telling me about this book. You're welcome. I thank you, Mrs. Gazoulis. That was great. Now I want to talk to you about some of the things that you saw in that video. 
One thing you saw was Mrs. Gazoulas helped her child with a word that she couldn't read. And if you look at the second page of your pamphlet, you'll notice at the bottom, one of the techniques is to chunk the word or break it into parts. So she was having trouble, I believe it was the word biography, and she knew the part bio, and then she worked her way through the word, and then at the end she was able to figure out the word. And that's something you can ask your child to do. Look for parts of the word you know, say those parts, now chunk the other parts, and then put them back together. And that's a good thing to do when they're trying out new words. If it's a long word and they've tried that, you can tell them the word. But you need to teach them to try it themselves before you give them the word. The second thing Mrs. Gazoulas did in her video was talked about the book. In third grade, as I said, we're not learning to read, we're reading to learn. So you want to be able to have a conversation with your child about the book. And if you have read the book, like Mrs. Gazoulas had, then you can ask really in-depth questions. But often, my children and your children read books that we haven't read, but you can still have that conversation. Ask them why they chose the book, what was important about the book, and then you'll notice that you can listen to their answers and build your next question off that question. So when uh, Mrs. Gazoulas' daughter said, that um, Hamilton should have paid more attention to his family if she hadn't read the book. An easy answer is, well, how? Where in the book was that important? So listen to your child and build questions off that. There's a list of questions on the last page of your book that can help you when you don't know where to start with the conversation. All right, so we've talked a little bit about where your child is at the beginning of third grade. And now at the end of third grade, they're reading a level 40. And you'll notice the print has gotten much smaller. Um, the stories are going to get more complex. They're going to see more scientific and social studies words. They're also going to start seeing things that might have a little history in them. So they're going to be bringing all their background knowledge into the reading. What I'd like you to do is take a moment to go to the website Goodreads that's listed in our booklet and pick some books somewhere between level M, level P, level Q, and see if your child's reading those kind of books. There's some great titles in there that you can read. All right, and don't forget, on the last page, there's a QR code. If you go there, you can find all kinds of resources that your teachers have put in to help you help your child at home. So remember, third grade, we're reading to learn. So what's important is understanding what we read, picking out the important parts, and for you as a parent, making reading fun every day. All right, I'll see you later with some more hints another day. Thank you for watching.